Okay, now we're going to do the Schuler projection of the TMJs. Uh, this projection should be done both bilaterally, so uh, one view for the right, one view for the left, and then also open and close mouth views for each. Um, for this one, we're going to start with the patient in a true lateral position uh, with the IOML parallel to the floor. And then what we're going to do is angle the tube 25 degrees caudal. The central ray is one half inch anterior to the upside EAM and two and a half inches superior. And the reason we have a half inch anterior is because that's where the TMJ is. So you're basically sitting over the TMJ with an angle, but two and a half inches superior so that it's projected through the downside TMJ. Uh, so for this, we'll get the patient in a lateral position. A little bit more this way. We're going to turn your head to the left. I'm going to turn a little more to the left. And we've got a little tilt, so I'm going to tilt to the left. And I want to check for anterior angle here. I'm going to need to slide you forward a little bit here. So I'm about two and a half inches superior. We're going to move you forward so that this light or this crosshair is over the upside TMJ a little more right there but it'll be exiting the downside maybe a little more there we go tuck your chin in please we're gonna get the IOML parallel to the floor I think I'm a little high just drop it to right there and then I'm gonna recenter my Bucky it's going up And my marker is pretty close in, but just remember the TMJ is about as big as your pinky. So if you're centered right, I've got plenty of room between it and the marker here. I'm doing about a three by three field. That's pretty much all you need. Take on suspended respiration. 